the way I think about it is that Samson is a leader of the people and a man of vision, a spiritual man, and he also has very powerful desires. And the way that I think about her is that his religion is like a mistress, and she's jealous because it's not a mistress that she understands. So I think that's the push and the pull of the opera. Samson is in my culture, you know, I'm French, Italian also, but I, um, I always uh, was was uh, fascinated by the character. When I, my grandmother read the Bible for me, it was my favorite uh, character. Why? Because he has the power, because he is very strong, because he received the power of God, but in the same time, very fragile. For Dalila and for Samson, this interaction, this relationship for them is fatal, emotionally, psychologically and physically. Um, for one of them, um, whatever way you, you can look at whatever situation then it leads to. However, I think that their attraction, for whatever reason, it can be just chemical attraction, it can be just uh, psycho-emotional attraction, they just feed from each other. I would like to show in Dalila gentleness, I would like um, some weakness, I would like to show that at some moment she really falls in love with Samson, and not just this cold-blooded, calculative woman. In Samson, you must keep the, the brightness of the sound because it's in French and because it's very young. This is very important in this repertoire. It's not only the power of, and, and the, the, the power of the voice of the characterization, but it's also the elegance of the music, of the diction. <laughs> What I find extraordinary about this music is that uh, it's so beguiling and beautiful, and it is an unpleasant story, and that contradiction is fascinating. In a lot of my research, I found myself getting attracted to these images from antiquity of the ancient world, and then we started to look what contemporary fashion for example, with laser cutting and what contemporary architects all over the world are doing with those ideas so that the piece has both. I'm very excited to work with Roberto again because we've done so many performances of different operas already together and he's really one of the partners that I can fully rely on. He's a very generous and, and very honest performer, and a very dedicated performer. <laughs> With Elena, we have this feeling. We are very close when, when we are on stage together. We understand each other very well. You must be like one person, like in a real couple, you know, like a, a husband and wife. It's a little bit like, like this. We, we, we must put away all the, the difference and be a real, real uh, to have a real communion. And I think with Elena, we have that.